What's good? What's good, you two? American Rx said it again. What's good? What's good? Um, shout out to the subscribers. Thank you for joining our live stream yesterday with my brother, Prince Sadiq, and um, that my next. It's a good live stream. Shout out. Uh, today I'll be building on this article here. Um, uh, the Rayfield review, their use. Uh, yeah, it's about this virus. Um, you know what? They, what? What? What are their plans? You know what I'm saying? They they pass all types of acts while we are, you know, while they quarantine everyone. You know, these people. They are, they, they are up to no good, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's get to it. U.S. House introduces H.R. 6666. Six, six, six. So that's four sixes, right? Not three, all right? It's a bunch of six. We're forced COVID-19 testing in residences by contact tracers. So in other words, they don't care about your natural rights, you know what I'm saying? As far as, only if you don't know that you are, you know, a man or a woman, you think you are a citizen or a resident, you know what I'm saying? These terms, you use these terms, you don't know what you're saying, you don't know what you're doing to yourself, all right? I, I, I told people already that using these words, these terms, subject you to a corporate fiction, a, a, a fictitious entity, all right? So, Let's get to it. U.S. House introduces H.R. 6666 right, for forced COVID-19 testing in residents by contact tracers. And remember, they patent this virus, all right? They patent it. So pretty much what they are saying, once you have traces of their patent property inside of your body, they could harvest, you know, use you as a test, as a dummy with the vaccine. All right. Okay. On May 1st, 2020, U.S. House introduces H.R. 66666. U.S. House introduces H.R. 6666 for force, force COVID-19 testing in residents by contact tracers. Authorized the Secretary of Health and Human Services to award grants to eligible entities. Eligible entities. Eligible entities. Key, key words, read the words. What is an entity? Okay, a, a fiction, a fictitious corporation, right? To conduct diagnostic testing for COVID-19 and related activities such as contact tracing through mobile health units. And as necessary at individuals' residences. These are key terms, individuals and residences. Okay, those are commercial terms. An individual is the same as a citizen. A resident is the same as a citizen. This is why I don't play with that word citizen. Okay? And for other purposes, this bill, should it become law, will give contact tracers the full legal right to come to your home. Right, so, you, so they're hunting you now. <laughs> they're hunting you, right? Like they're the bounty hunter, hunters, right? and demand a test. If you are shown to have come across any individual who has tested positive for COVID-19, <laughs> if you were aware, if you weren't aware, your phone is being tra tracked to determine if you are have been in the vicinity of anyone who has tested positive, okay? So they're, tracing, they're tracing your phone, people. This is espionage, all right? They're spying on you, okay? Should you test positive for a coronavirus even with the countless false positives being reported? All right? False positives being reported. All right? You will be forced quarantined, forced quarantine, and potentially have your children removed from your home. People now. People, 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 people. People. 
It's time to man. I'm 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 not gonna say it again, man. You need to you need to wake up and smell the coffee, man. It will likely end up on President Trump's desk desk and become law. Whose law? What law? What law is that? What type of law is that? Not my law, right? Not man's law. Not God's law. That's a corporate policy, right? This controversial and curiously numbered bill comes on the coattails of HR 748, which I'm um, known as CARES Act. Okay, and you guys could read the CARES Act. Uh, there's a section of it that um, forgive business loans. Okay, so if you have businesses, they um, propose um, loan forgiveness. All right, CARES is an acronym for the Coronavirus, coronavirus Aid Relief. And economic, economic Security Act. All right, CARES Act was introduced in the House Representatives of the, in the House of Representatives on January 24, 2019, long before the coronavirus was introduced onto the world stage. Okay, so people, they've been release the virus they been knew it was gonna end up like this they been knew it okay they, 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 they're telling you right here so who is responsible for this virus if they knew it who is gonna be held liable for the crimes committed on, 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 on mankind or a man i don't say mankind but man on our on our people especially the original people of the americas the original people of the earth right because as you could see they do everything within their perceived power to attack us, especially, all right? This act initiated a stimulus package that would help people and business financially recover from the failing economy due to a coronavirus outbreak, okay? However, it was introduced into the house over a year prior to the lockdowns and ensuing financial devastation that began in the US in March, 2020. Okay, so it's as you can see, this is a drill. This is an exercise because they knew they, they put everything in place, you know, cause and effect. Okay, vaccinate all children, right? It became law on March, March 27, 2020, right? Okay, lastly, HR 2527, which is Vaccinate All Children Act of 2019. Okay, Vaccinate All Children Act. Okay, yeah, pay attention, people. It was originally introduced May 3, 2019, and remains an, an open bill. Its purpose is to prohibit the Department of Health and Human Services from awarding grants to public entities of a state for preventive health services programs unless the state institutes certain vaccination requirements for its public schools. People, so this is why our children are you know the children are, are not in school right now because they are pl they're planning this 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 was in place okay so unless what is pretty much saying unless you comply with the requirements of this fictitious organization to get your children vaccinated with what i don't know what's inside of it right we don't know what's inside of these vaccines so why is it so um, they are so adamant in wanting to vaccinate our children, right? Specifically, a state must require each student in public elementary or secondary school to be va vaccinated in accordance with the recommend recommendations of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. The bill provides an exception for students whose health would be endangered by vaccination. So you see, you have remedy here, okay? Yes, it's going to be endangered by your vaccines because your vaccines are poisons. Okay? Yes, of course. I will never get my child vaccinated under this act because I don't know what's in these vaccines. And why would I do that? Why would I use my child as a guinea pig or my, my property? Because my child is my property. I don't even call it child. It's my property. Why would I endanger my property? Okay? In the opinion of the physician conforming to the accepted standard, standard 
of medical care, U.S. House introduces H.R. 6666 for forced COVID-19 testing in residents by contact tracers, okay? So I hope you're getting the gist of, what, of what's, what's been said here, okay? So, I guess that's all I have at the moment in terms of this alleged virus, which is, I know it's a biological weapon they're testing in the, in the to see how people react but yeah so people you gotta you gotta you, you gotta you know you gotta become aware man of what's going on you can't just be dummy down man you gotta get off them televisions and um just realize what's your surroundings you know pay attention to what's going on around you and i'm saying wake up you know because you know these people ain't playing games and you shouldn't either you know, you should be just as stern as they are in um, upholding and securing your health, your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. You know what I'm saying? Because you are responsible for you. No one else is responsible for you but you, okay? And you are responsible for your offsprings or your young ones until they come of age. So you should, you are supposed to do all, all that's necessary to make sure they're safe and protected from all these you know, um, these heathens, you know what I'm saying? These people are heathens. You know, they are con con um, confederate and they sit around a, a round table and they plan their next attack on the people, right? Especially our people, okay? See, they declare war on us ever since 1492, okay? That was the that does that was them declaring war on us. Okay? It's not even a question. It's, it is what it is. It's just, that's just that's just fact. That's not for up for debate. They declared war on our people since 1492. In the Americas, right? And around the world, in um our, our original people of the earth. But especially here in the Americas, you know what I'm saying? Because they want this vast um land and what they what was the first thing that they took with them when they come here the diseases right the viruses right small pox right so as you can see history is repeating itself you know what i'm saying so you know don't be surprised be wise okay be wise make the right moves and do what you need to do what what's need to be done you know so um i want to say shout out to all the subscribers the viewers and you know um you know i want to see if i could pull up what a resident is a resident Legal meaning, okay. I want to show you that when they're saying resident, what it really means. I want you guys to to kind of. So a resident refers to a resident. Okay. I'm gonna do a build on some of these words. Ah oh, man. I cut off, but uh yeah. So I'm gonna do a build on these words um very soon, okay? What do these words mean? So you could get the, the gist of what I'm saying. Say, for example, a US resident. In card, no official as permanent resident card is a document issued to immigrants in the United States under the Immigration Nationality Act. But 
I want to dig on the word resident itself, okay? 